So before we start on this module, I would like to explain to you briefly how entity relationship works in Hibernate because this is very, very important. Understanding how it works is going to make it easier for you to build relationships between entities in your application. So right here you see that we have two, two entities, the, the country and the states. And what you know is that a country is made up of states. So you can say one country, many states. If you are looking at it from the other side, one uh, many states, one country. So that is many to one. So this is very clear. What you have on the screen now is very clear because that is how we do it in relational database. We just add a foreign key in the child table and that works. But in Hibernate or in um, Spring Boot is very, very different. This is what we, you have in the database. At the end of the day, this is what the database will create. But how the database will create this table is what we need to understand. Now, let me show you how to build or what you have on this entity called country and the entity called state. So to achieve what you see on the screen, you are going to say, in this case, you have, let's say, private ins ID. Okay, that is clear. And here you have also private Uh, this time string name this is also very clear where we now have to try to understand what is happening is at the other side so in this case instead of three fields we are going to have four fields in our class take note I need to repeat to achieve this instead of having three fields in the state entity we are going to have four fields I'm going to I'm going to list them out so that it becomes clear to you so I'm going to use red. So we, in the case of state, we are going to have private ID, uh, private int ID. Okay, let me just undo. Private int ID. Okay, that's one. I have private uh, string name. Okay, now this country ID, which is a foreign key, will give us two, two different um, fields, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. Make no mistake about it, because many developers make this mistake. It took me several weeks to figure out how to explain it very clearly in this way. So you are going to say private country country. Okay. This is also clear. Now you need to now specify the last column, which is also the ID, which is a foreign key in this, this time. So you're going to say private int country ID. Make this, all, all the, this, this has to be lowercase, all right? It's not camel case, it's not uppercase, it has to be all lowercase. So if you are saying private in country ID, I find the convention that everything will be lowercase. Country ID, all the words has to be lowercase. That is, this I here has to be lowercase. So now in this place, you have to now use two annotations. One of them is at join column, and the second annotation is at many to one, because many, many states, one country. So I don't have any room here. So, uh, okay, let me put one of the annotation at many, two one that's what you are going to put there and okay let me just write it out where it's going to be clear at many to one right and also you use another annotation at join column all right so Actually, the at many to one annotation does not have any attributes, meaning that you don't need this, right? So when we start working on it, it becomes clear. But a, a join column annotation, you need to specify uh, a join column name is equal to that will specify the name of the of the foreign key of the other entity. So in this case, it's going to be a uh, country ID. like this okay that's how it should be 
Then you also need to specify two other attributes of the adjoint column, and those attributes are insertable, insertable. Don't worry about this. We are going to actually do the practical of this. So uh, uh, insertable is equal to false, and uh, updatable equals to false as well. Now, explanation of this for now, I can make it now so that I can I have to keep everything simple. But now, to achieve what we have on the on the on the screen, these two tables related, you have to create it in this way. Okay, so let's now go to to the actual um, to, to the page and then uh, work on it. I would like us to talk about a little more about relationships at this point. Let me just make a little clarification. So let me open the country and the state. So if I open the country. Because I already created all the models. If I open the country, you see country at this point, and I open states, states at this point. And you have that you have a private country, country. You have the joint column is a new column we call country ID, which is this country ID like the foreign key. But I also mentioned that you also have to, you need a convention. Everything on, about this should be lowercase, all right? Because actually, Hibernate actually creates another column called a uh, country id so this will create you have to create it so that it doesn't conflict with any any column hibernate is going to create so create it with everything lowercase so that hibernate doesn't understand how to understand it uh, as it were all right so at this point if i go back to if i go to state we have the country id that is a country where the states belong all right so when I have this, this actually uh, can be removed. I can actually take out this. And if I go to country, I can actually take out this as well because it makes it look a little very complex. I can actually take out this. So because somehow we may not actually need to get a list of country, a list of states belonging to a country. We can actually do that in a different way. But if you can cope, uh, if you if you if it doesn't confuse you, you can actually uh, leave it right there. So I'm going to also go here and say edit undo as well. You can actually leave it right there. So I mentioned that this is a way you avoid a problem called infinite recursion. If you look at the description box, you can see a, a link to where this problem is discussed. It can actually be a very big problem. If I go to location. So you also have a location has a country and you have the country where this location is. You also have a, con a location has a state and you can see exactly everything actually have the same, uh, the same, um, uh, the same, it, it works in the same principle. So I have uh, the, 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 the relationship between location and country is a country ID in the location table. So the same thing goes for, let's take for instance, if I go to vehicle type, let's say vehicle type at this point, this vehicle type, it extends common object. So vehicle type uh, actually inherits from common object. So we have uh, this, this actually also, we added it so that we can avoid infinite recursion problem. And I also recommend you leave it as it were. And when we have common objects, uh, common object in this case is also a superclass. This time is a map superclass, just like uh, person. You have person here is a map superclass as well, meaning that you cannot instantiate this class, all right? So I've actually used Lombok to generate the getters and the setters in this person class. But if you look at the common object, I actually generated everything manually the constructors the getters and the setters i did it manually so i'm just doing this so that you understand that this is there that so there are different ways of doing things so at this point all our models are ready make sure you have it and also i mentioned that you don't have to create the user principle you so you also don't need to create the auditable for now we are going to doing that a little later and hopefully you understand how relationship works if if it's not very clear to you, please look at this, the description box. You'll find a link to where I explained relationships uh, in Hibernate, the one to many, the when to one, the adjoint column, the mapped by attribute, and this will be clear to you uh, if you go through that. So I'm going to stop here. In the next lesson, which is uh, we are going to now continue with uh, creating all the controllers.